Since the mogul was sued for alleged sexual assault by his ex-girlfriend Cassie, 50 Cent has continued his aggressive trolling campaign against Diddy, and it doesn't appear that he will be stopping anytime soon. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown, if you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. He uploaded several posts today, for instance, concerning Diddy's non-exclusive relationship with Young Miami, and claims that she got cash from him in return for having sex with him. Subsequently, he shared a re-released video of an interview featuring Diddy and Mike Tyson, making light of the fact that even the legendary boxer had to turn down the creator of Bad Boy Records. Just before the interview ends for a commercial break, Tyson and Diddy are shown in the clip sitting next to each other on a couch. Diddy's hand is resting on the couch between them when Tyson picks it up and places it on the hitman's leg. He then moves to a more distant location, and Diddy appears to be upset. According to several social media users, Tyson moved his hand because he didn't feel comfortable having it that close to him. Fiff concurs, making light of the uncomfortable exchange in his caption. Look at Mike, oh no you're not gonna touch my buddy. LOL, he wrote. While many viewers agree with 50 Cent, others note that he appeared to only lift Diddy's hand to show off his jewelry. But it truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh yeah. He remarks, nodding at the watch on the Harlem-born performer's wrist. A number of startling allegations have surfaced from Rodney Lil Rod Jones' lawsuit against Diddy, including the claim that the mogul paid Young Miami on a monthly basis for sex work. I had a conversation with somebody that day. I said, I'm really like, I'm a Although she has since refuted this, 50 Cent continues to make fun of her. Fiff has been criticizing Diddy for the whole of his court battle, so it should come as no surprise that he suddenly chose to target the city girl. He posted a video of her last year's appearance on The Jason Lee Show, in which she calls herself a whore, on Instagram yesterday. But define that. So, like, I'm a it's okay to be a whore, just make sure you're being overpaid. See a sucker, catch a sucker, suck a sucker dry. You go girl lswlol, he captioned the post. In a swift reply, Young Miami claimed that her statement had been misinterpreted. I think this got taken out of context. It's a gay slur, what's up whore is something my gay cousin always said to me, she commented on his post. It's, it's a slang that we said to each other, that's what I was trying to explain to Jason because he's gay. And he got what I was trying to say. I'm not a prostitute. I never sold day in my life. And I hate how this is getting spun. 50 was clearly throwing shade. Seeing her comment, however, seemingly prompted a change of heart. He later followed up to clarify his feelings towards young Miami. I like it at you Miami 305, he captioned a screenshot of her comment. I don't want to hurt her, or her feelings I just put her in BMF she cool. I think they was in a relationship but the mother women LSW vibes. According to insiders close to the City Girls rapper, Young Miami is being accused of being a tiny drug mule for Diddy as a result of recent revisions producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones made in his wild lawsuit. This is the updated situation. According to a Monday suit amendment issued by Lil Rod's attorney, Miami helped Diddy obtain a cocaine and ecstasy mixture known as Tusai. However, people with knowledge of the situation allege that Rod's filing has infuriated Miami's team. Sources also tell TMZ Hip Hop that at the very moment when Rod claims she was acting strangely, she was really being fitted by her stylist for her glamorous Met Gala dress. The timestamps show that she was miles away from Diddy and the crew who were in Virginia, on April 30th, 2023, when Rod made his assertions, in New York City. Rodney claims that after Brendan Paul, the drug dealer who was jailed, neglected to bring some sweet Tusai for the team's practice for Farrell Something in the Water Festival, where he made an unexpected onstage appearance, Young Miami filled in for him. According to Rod, Young Miami was then asked by Diddy's chief advisor Christina Coram to come through with the party treats, and Miami obliged. For the majority of 2022, Miami and Diddy were dating like old friends, but after he appeared with a new child and a new girlfriend, things cooled off. In recent court filings pertaining to his lawsuit against the bad boy mogul, Rodney Lil Rod Jones has charged young Miami of trafficking a substance known as Tusai for Diddy. Speaking about Pharrell Williams something in the Water Festival in Virginia, he leveled the claim. Diddy was allegedly dissatisfied with the cocaine he had access to during the event, and had his purported drug mule, Brendan Paul, retrieve the substance known as pink cocaine. Paul reportedly realized he should have brought the substance with him and gave the rapper from City Girls the duty of flying it on Diddy's private jet from Miami to Virginia. Rod also mentions that some of Diddy's associates got him access to ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, and other narcotics. In the midst of the ongoing investigation into Diddy, Paul was arrested by police on Monday for possessing cocaine and marijuana at the Miami Opelaka Executive Airport. They did not associate Diddy with the drugs. Diddy's latest situation has gotten worse rather than better. Shocking news surfaced today following months of battling lawsuits alleging sexual assaults and other misbehavior. Federal officials raided his residences in Miami and Los Angeles earlier today. Many things remain unknown, such as the rap mogul's existing residence and whether or not he was there during either raid. 
However, Young Miami's whereabouts also piqued the interest of internet enthusiasts. Since they started dating last year, Miami has remained silent about all of the accusations made against Diddy. Earlier this year, he was even cut from a reality TV program that followed the rapper City Girls. She's keeping things short once more in her most recent post to her admirers. Right here what's up? She tweeted in response to a fan who inquired about her location. That prompted a plethora of responses from admirers attempting to elicit additional insights on the circumstances from her. She has, however, held things quite close to the vest, as one might assume. Earlier last month, Diddy appeared backstage at a concert with another contentious artist. Diddy and Kanye West haven't been friends for long, but it looks like they could be getting back together when Diddy showed up to Kanye's Rolling Loud performance. The rapper and producer, accompanied by his twin daughters, Jesse and Delila Combs, made an uncommon public appearance on Thursday night at the Los Angeles event. Diddy arrived on stage with his entire entourage. He typically rolls up just as he is and Ty Dolla Sign's Keys to My Life began to play on the speakers. Additionally, Diddy turned the evening into a family event by being seen watching the contentious performance with his son Justin in the backside stage area. People were furious throughout the performance because, rather than giving a live performance, Kanye and Ty stood on stage and simply played recorded versions of their songs, disappointing a lot of fans. It's unclear how Diddy felt about the program or whether he had a talk with Ye since they needed to sort out their 2022 feud, which went viral. Remember from 2022 when Puffy appeared on The Breakfast Club and called Kanye's highly contentious White Lives Matter t-shirts tone deaf? That didn't sit well with Kanye at all, and in the end, he leaked some personal correspondence between the two of them, in which he accused Diddy of being a threat to him, having been sent by Jews. Although Diddy was hoping for a face-to-face -face meeting, Kanye called him a federal agent and added a big F you just to be safe. Everything appeared somewhat insane, and it didn't seem like the two had reconciled at least not in public. However, now that Puffy is on the show, you have to wonder whether there have been any backstage conversations. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.